This meeting is called to order in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act. This meeting was included in a list of meeting dates sent to the Home News Tribune and the Star-Ledger on January 8, 2014, and was posted on the bulletin board of Borough Hall, 221 South Fifth Avenue on January 8, 2014, and has remained continuously posted as required by law. The fire exits are to my light. My left and right, your right and left respectively. I would ask members of the public as well as here on the dais to speak into the microphones. Assistive listening devices are available. Uh, Chief Frisco, would you please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? <laughs> indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Clerk, would you call the roll, please? Mayor Minkoff? Here. Councilwoman Pearl Mittler? Councilman Erickson? Here. Councilwoman Foster Dublin? Here. Councilman Malay? Here. Councilman Potts? Here. Councilwoman Welkovitz? Here. For Attorney Schmier? Here. For Administrator Kovac? Here. Okay, since I don't see anybody here from Main Street, we're not going to have a Main Street Minute this evening. Um, okay, Council reports. Uh, Council Member Foster Dublin, do you have anything you'd like to share with us? Just briefly that um, our police department has um, two opening actually. We're looking for a dispatcher. So if anyone knows of a dispatcher who is interested in working in our wonderful town of Highland Park, we'd love to have you fill an application. And we're also looking for a police officer. So we have a position available and that was due to someone leaving us and going to the county to work. So. We have an open spot. We have two open spots in our public safety department. So anyone is interested, please fill an application. Elsie, or call our police chief. Elsie, the police officer, is that somebody who has to have uh, already gone through a police academy, or are we looking to? Yes, we are hoping that we'll find someone who have gone through the academy. Okay. That's my report. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Council Member Potts. Thank you, Mayor. Just wanted to report that last Thursday, uh, March 13th, the Teen Advisory uh, Committee held their box ball tournament. Extreme, it, extreme box ball, right? Extreme box ball tournament. Yes, it was. Uh, it was a great event. It was my first time experiencing the uh, that sport, so to speak, uh, which was an excellent social event for the group as well as they did have some uh, fundraising involved uh, by having that uh, tournament as well. Just wanted so wanted to let everyone know uh, as our weather is getting warmer, we can start thinking about uh, our Highland Park summer camps. Uh, the information uh, packet is available, and our camp programs will be beginning uh, on July 7th. Uh, also tonight, we're going to be um, uh, doing some appointments to the Arts Commission. Uh, we're so we're excited about that group in growing and, and getting to be uh, more active again. Just also wanted to announce that the Highland Park Senior Center, Center will partner with uh, Robert Wood Johnson Hospital starting in April to provide monthly presentations and workshops to our seniors. Uh, stop by the Senior Youth Center to find out more about these programs that are coming up. In April, the presentation is going to be on hearing loss. Uh, it'll be a hearing loss presentation, and they'll be doing complimentary uh, hearing screenings as well. Uh, so contact the Senior Youth Center to find out more about those programs coming up. Thank you. Thank you. Council Member Wilkowitz. Uh, good evening. Uh, on uh, next Tuesday, March 25th, between 5.30 and 7.30, uh, in our Senior Youth Center, we will have another Affordable Care Act or Obamacare enrollment event. Um, it's the last event we're going to have before the deadline. Um, and we'll have four certified application counselors, and Enroll America will be there with commit cards uh, so they can follow up uh, with people directly. Uh, please come, please tell your friends and your neighbors and your family about it. Uh, it's a good event and a great opportunity for people to get enrolled. And uh, also, our universal access, oh, and that, by the way, is brought to us by our Board of Health and Diane Heim, like our chairwoman. Um, and also, our universal access committee uh, has, um, uh, is, is putting on another session of ACT OUT, our theater arts program for adults with disabilities. Uh, there's still some spots open. Um, the, um, the program runs on Friday afternoons in the Senior Youth Center between 1.30 and I think about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, it's a great program. We're doing, this is our third session. Uh, so please, if you know anybody that's interested, pass it on. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Councilman Erickson? No report. 
Council President Malay. Uh, just a quick report. Uh, I'm happy to announce that the major repairs to the Montgomery Street uh, water main have been completed. And hopefully this will see a, uh, an improvement in our delivery of water and that we'll be having um, much less uh, breakages and outages. So uh, hopefully this repair will solve a lot of the problems we've been facing. Thank you. Thank you. Borough Administrator's report? No report. Borough Attorney's report? No report, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Okay, I'll just briefly say, and I'm sure I'll have more to say about this at the next meeting, I'm in the process of doing some follow-up um, in conjunction with other borough officials with uh, PSE&G. I know we have these pad transformers uh, uh, situated in various locations around the municipality. We had a recent meeting, as you know, here with the public to review our concerns, to hear their explanation of what happened, what we could expect going forward, and I am trying to get them to nail down a timetable among some other things related to when and where those transformers will go away and will be uh, back uh, functioning uh, 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 as things were before the fire at the Edison substation. So. I assume that by the next council meeting I'll have some clarity on those issues and I will report accordingly. Okay, um, we're up to our first uh, public discussion session. Any comment from the public? Okay, seeing that there's none. Clerk, can you report uh, advertising the ordinance approving the intersection improvements for River Road for consideration on passage of passage on final reading by title? An ordinance approving the intersection improvements for River Road at its intersection with Cedar Lane and Johnson Drive by the Borough of Highland Park was duly advertised for consideration passage on final reading by title and affidavits of publication, publication are on file. The ordinance was posted and made available for public inspection as required by law. Okay, can I have a motion to take up the ordinance on final reading by title? So moved. Second. Can I have a motion to adopt? Well, oh, I'm sorry, public, public hearing. hearing. I'm sorry, public hearing. Any public comment? Seeing that there's none. Okay, so uh, can I have a, re yes? No. Now I, yeah, now I need a motion to adopt uh, the resolution and advertise the ordinance on final reading by title. Motion to adopt. Roll call. Oh, I'm sorry, we need a second. 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 Okay, we have a second. Roll call. Councilman Erickson? Yes. Councilwoman Foster Dublin? Yes. Councilman Malay? Yes. Councilman Potts? Yes. Councilwoman Welkovich? Yes. Thank you. We'll see if I can do this one better. Clerk, can you report on the introduction of the amendment to police off duty ordinance for consideration of passage on first reading by title? An ordinance amending the code of the Borough of Highland Park 2010, Chapter 64, concerning rates of pay for off duty police services has been introduced in writing by the Public Safety Committee for consideration of passage on first reading by title. Okay, can I have a motion to adopt and advertise? Motion to adopt and advertise. Second. Roll call. Councilman Erickson? Yes. Councilwoman Foster Dublin? Yes. Councilman Malay? Yes. Councilman Potts? Yes. Councilwoman Welkovitz? Yes. Clerk, can you report on the introduction of an amendment to the snow removal ordinance for consideration of passage on first reading by title? An ordinance amending the code of the Borough of Highland Park 2010, Chapter 368, Article 1, concerning the collection of the cost of snow or ice removal from sidewalks or curb cuts by the Borough of Highland Park has been introduced in writing by the Public Works and Public Utilities Committee for consideration of passage <coughs> on first reading by title. Okay, can I have a motion to adopt and advertise the ordinance? Motion to adopt. Second. Roll call. Councilman Erickson? Yes. Councilwoman Foster Dublin? Yes. Councilman Malay? Yes. Councilman Potts? Yes. Councilwoman Welkovich? Yes. Thank you. We're up to our consent agenda. I need a motion to separate and table item 23, which is uh, item 314-118, resolution to award tree planting bid. Uh, motion to um, separate. Separate, or is that the correct word? Or separate and table. Separate and table. Uh, uh, Number 23. Okay, can we have a second for that? Second. Okay, do we need a vote on that? All in favor. Oh, no, no, the consensus is fine. Okay, so unless I have an objection, we're going to separate and table that item. So the consent agenda now is items 13 through 22 and 24 through 28, which is items 314-108 to 314-117, 314-119 <coughs> to 314-123 inclusive, the following resolutions to authorize the application for road closure and approve the street fair, to approve the bills list, to approve taxi operator licenses, uh, to approve the 2013 tonnage grant application, 
to approve facade and awning improvement contracts, to release road opening performance bond, to approve change orders for the public safety building, to approve payments to the public safety building architect, to approve emergency repairs to the 16-inch water main, Montgomery Street and Lincoln Avenue, money extremely well spent. That last part's not in the resolution. Uh, to re reappoint the redevelopment agency member, to award tree planting bid, to amend the temporary budget. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. Not to, I'm sorry. That's the one we took out. I apologize, so that is not part of this. Resolution to amend the temporary budget for 2014. Resolution to amend the annual salary resolution to authorize final payout to public safety dispatcher Peter Archibald. To approve pay estimate number 18, H&S construction and mechanical for public safety building improvements and to approve submission of community forestry management plan. So can I have a motion to adopt those items? Motion to adopt. Second. Roll call. Councilman Erickson? Yes. Councilwoman Foster Dublin? Yes. Councilman Malay? Yes. Councilman Potts? Yes. Councilwoman Welker? Yes. Okay. Uh, <coughs> Mayor hereby appoints the following to the Commission for Universal Access, Diane Feldman and Tara Canavera, <coughs> to the Human Relations Commission, Simone Banks, Elizabeth Estes, Jonathan Horowitz, Awat Awat, uh, Tracy Tappan, to the Arts Commission, Misty Asbury, Anthony Capisi, Jill Corpo Lingua, Sarah Prito, Kristen, Pru Kristen Pruitt, I'm sorry, Kristen Pruitt, <coughs> Pruitt or Pruitt? Gary. Pruitt, I believe. Pruitt, okay. Arnold Weinberg and Nicholas West. Uh, can I have a motion to confirm these appointments? Motion confirm. So moved. Second. Roll call. <coughs> Councilman Erickson? Yes. Councilwoman Foster Double? Yes. Councilman Malay? Yes. Councilman Potts? Yes. Councilwoman Welkowitz? Yes. Any open items? Okay. Uh, we're up to second uh, part of public discussion. Any comment from the public? Okay. Uh, seeing that there's none, can I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Okay, meeting's adjourned. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you. Mm -hmm.